Hello Internet, welcome back to Let's Play Excel. I love Excel, and I have a dream to become the world's first Excel-based video game designer. In today's video, we're going to walk through a few very big updates I've made to my first ever game, Pokemon Let's Go Excel. But before we start, I want to just call out that the game is available to play and is downloadable. I'm going to put the link in the description. Uh, but uh, I have a new WordPress site where all of my games are going to be living, as well as updates to future games I want to make. So you can just scroll down to try to get a sense of everything that I'm working on, uh, as well as check out news anytime there's patch patch notes or, or release updates there. But without uh, too much further ado, we can go into the updates of the game. The biggest updates are going to be related down to this bottom bar uh, down here, as well as this now unhidden uh, box up in the top right. So we're just going to dive into it. A uh, few different things to note. First is the Pokedex is different and I'd say hopefully better. Uh, instead of just being a list of Pokemon names, and this can be a little, uh, it, it can load, take a few seconds to load, but if we click in to go to our Pokedex, you can now take a look and see, give us a second, every single Pokemon that you've caught is going to be updated uh, to show the spray. Every Pokemon you have not yet caught, you can see is grayed out, silhouette. Once you catch them, then you will get uh, a very fulfilling picture of every single Pokemon, but uh, really, really excited about this. Uh, one of my uh, viewers in the very first video commented on this as an idea, and I just loved it, so I wanted to bring this to life. Um, so once you're done with your Pokedex and you're just checking your progress, you can return to your wild uh, so you can go back and catch. I did introduce two additional uh, ideas for the Pokedex. So the National Dex, obviously, since we're playing Kanto, this is just going to be the original 151. You can see how many of those 151 Pokemon you've caught. Uh, in this playthrough I'm working on, I've gotten 83, feel pretty good about it. And then you can also see a local Dex, and that's going to tie into this map and then the sublocation field over here. So the, got, the idea here is that we can travel the entire Kanto region. So we're going to go in, if we uh, click check map, then you can see all of the areas that you can possibly go to. You use these buttons to actually travel there. So let's say I want to go to Pewter City. Well, I'm going to go north a few times, go to Viridian, go to Viridian Forest, and then go to Pewter City. And then we can return to Wild. And now that once we've returned to the Wild, you do need to set a sub location. So in this case, our options are actual Pewter City, uh, Route 2, or Route 3 uh, over to the west. So I'm going to go in, uh, go to Route 3, and now let's see if we can find any wild Pokemon. And we've got a Rattata. And here you can see this is where the local Dex comes into play. So whatever sub-location you're in has a different number of Pokemon you can catch. In this case, 5 out of 5. So I've already caught all 5 Pokemon here. And some locations do not have any Pokemon whatsoever. I do have plans to turn this into a uh, more of a story mode over time where you can collect badges. I think that's going to be the, the big thing. So if you were to go to just actual Pewter City, like in the real games, you can't fight wild Pokemon here. There does not appear to be any Pokemon here. Try going somewhere else and generate a new encounter. So there will be locations in the game where you can't catch anything. Uh, those are what areas that I have plans to make Pokemon catchable. So let's just go back to Route 2 and here. Oh, wow. Whole bunch of Pokemon available in Route 2. These are based off of the uh, Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee uh, encounter pool. So whole bunch you can do in Route 2. So let's just quickly try to find a Pokemon I have not caught so we can show off. Nidoqueen is available here. I think that might be post-game. So here uh, we do have a ball bag. So by default, you're going to be using Pokeballs. And at a 13% chance of catching, I cannot imagine I'm going to have too much luck catching this Nidoqueen. So instead, I'm going to say, you know what, let's, let's upgrade myself to an Ultra Ball. And I'm also going to throw a rock to improve my rate a little bit. Now let's throw the ball again one more time. Awesome. And now we've caught uh, Nidoqueen, and you can see that we've caught this Pokemon with an Ultra Ball, not with a Pokeball. So that's going to be another update you have. Uh, in a future update where we have Story Mode, you'll 
not be able to access every ball at once, but it will be more of something that you earn over time by uh, collecting your gym badges. Uh, but for now, you can sort of choose your own difficulty. If you want to just catch everything immediately, you can use a master ball if you want. Uh, but my, my recommendation is that you just try to catch as much as you can in the Pokeballs and then sprinkle in Great Balls and Ultra Balls uh, just as you, you find yourself needing it to not go crazy. But uh, other than that, I do want to call out that this, uh, for just an added challenge, you can take this box up here and hide it. So just uh, going into your uh, home row and setting the background to black will hide it. Uh, the reason I have it unhidden, this actually will show you what your catch rate is for every Pokemon as well as the flea rate. Uh, just to get a, a better se uh, sense of what Pokeball should I use? Should I be using uh, bait to keep something from running away? Should I be throwing rocks aggressively at it? Uh, so if we generate a new encounter, so Rattata has a base catch rate of 50% and a flea rate of 20%. So all of these are again taken uh, directly from the Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee Switch game uh, encounter pools. So we'll probably tweak these a little bit over time with future updates, but at least for version one, this is what we're going with. Uh, really excited. I, at this point, the game is full release as a full V1 as opposed to the partial updates before. So I would love for people to just play along. Let me know what you think. Let me know any other changes you want to make. I've gotten some amazing responses from the RxL community um, on Reddit, where people have given me a lot of uh, just updates for how I can make my macro code better, how I can make my formulas run faster. And so hopefully that comes across as you're playing this if you played any of the previous versions. But those are the big updates on my side. So again, we have the updated Pokedex uh, as a recommendation from one of the uh, first commenters on the previous video. We have the map functionality and sublocations that you can catch different Pokemon in different regions. And we have different Pokeballs that you can use as a choose your own difficulty, uh, followed by, again, just better tracking of how many Pokemon are there in the game, how many Pokemon are there in the specific region that you are playing in. So those are the updates we've made today. If you want to play along at home, please, please, please check out my WordPress site, letsgoexcel.wordpress.com. Uh, again, link in the description, download the game, let me know what you think about it. I love reading your comments and uh, really excited just to see where this can all keep going. But that is my time for this video. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and remember to stay excellent. Bye.